football program will soon undergo a facelift. Not with their uniforms, but with their facilities. A brand new state-of-the-art football building is in the works, and it's a long overdue addition to one of the nation's top programs. Michigan was a leader. In 1969, when the Sports Services Building was built, Michigan was a leader in that. A dedicated facility for the practice of football. What has happened over the, the past eight, 19, 20 years is that everybody else has built new facilities and have learned from what we did and are expanding on what we've done. So in this game of football that has changed so much in the past 20 years, uh, we are no longer the leaders that you need to be to secure the place you want to have in major college football. The building will not only house the entire football operation, but it will include a museum charting Michigan's football history, the Go Blue merchandise shop, a dining hall, and training in medical facilities for use by the full university family. And besides being functional, according to architect Gunnar Burkitz, it has its own personality. On the outside, it is an inviting building. It is one that does not say we are withdrawn behind the wall and we are doing our thing and then we'll show it to you on Saturday. It's a friendly, uh, friendly inviting building on the public side. Now on the back, we have a no-nonsense uh, training facility, you know, with all the all the latest equipment and uh, techniques, you know, for our players. Besides its personality, it will also be unique in its design, and that's not by accident either. The building has, as I mentioned before, a visual presence. It's, uh, it's one that uh, says this is a football building. Uh, you know, if you will see the, the, uh, the model or the drawings, you'll see that there are sort of metaphors in it of, of the football uh, paraphernalia. You see the cross, almost the, the helmet. Uh, you see the, the form of the, the roof that is towards the street, which I call it, uh, that is based on the, uh, on the flight path of the touchdown passes or the trajectory of the ball. Uh, and so it has a little bit of poetry in it and, and a little presence that, that uh, we try to put in the building. I'm not so sure I see the touchdown pass <laughs> in there, but I do I know that... for us. Yeah, I do know that it's a, a yeah. facility that's much needed and very vital to the program. Well, there's several things, Jim. Um, uh, it's not just for football. I mean, the entire athletic department will benefit from it. We need office space. Uh, we need meeting rooms. Um, the museum is uh, for Michigan athletics. Uh, the um, medical facility uh, will be the finest in the country for our athletic program. And, um, of course, all the money generated from football is needed to run the rest of our athletic department. So we cannot use that money to build this building. It's going to be financed entirely by uh, friends of Michigan football, alumni and friends of Michigan football, and players ex-players, including yourself, will make a contribution to You know, I'm going to be building. getting a letter from you pretty soon. Not a letter. I'm telling you face-to-face. <laughs> -face. <laughs> so uh, it's that kind of a building. It's, it's very, uh, it's something that we need badly in the athletic department. And uh, we've had a great response. I think uh, uh, people understand we want to be first class. We want to have the best athletic department in America. And we need this building to do it. And this